Number 23, Debbie Trombley. Number 25, Ryan Harris. Somebody unplugged me just as we're getting set to start taping here. Uh, Northeastern Clinton at Plattsburgh. And I'm going to check to see if we're plugged in here now. We're going to eject our battery. Stick with us. And let's find out. Yep. We have, we have electricity. Somehow our plug got kicked out just as we are set to the introduction of the lineups. So we'll introduce you to the players when they're on the floor. Right after this national anthem, which you might recognize. Mark Sudo from Channel 5 probably uh, thought he was going to get here for halftime, but it's the uh, it's start of the game, 8-19, the modified in vars and JV went a little bit long. This is CBAC Varsity Girls Basketball featuring the Northeastern Clinton Cougars and the home team, Plattsburgh High Hornets. Debbie Trombley travels. For the Cougars, Ashley Walter, number 4, Danielle Chastain, 22, Nicole Tardif, 11. Miranda Perez coming back from her ankle injury, wears number 25, and Debbie Trombley wears number 23. Jaja Cablet for Plattsburgh is number 10. Number 11 out there is Stephanie Dubray. 31 is Valerie Lumpkin. Uh, 24, that's Kristen Moore. And 32 is Laura Phillips, Castine. Can't get a handle on it. Dubray, uh, what is that? Uh, oh, Laura Phillips, I'll give you a hand. And uh, Moore puts it in. Now Castine will bring it up for the Cougars. Gets it up to Trombley. Trombley to drive. Rebounded by Phillips. Knocked loose by Walter. Castine will pick up the loose ball. Pushes it over to Perez. Perez shot blocked by Cablet, who gives up about four or five inches on that one. Trombley will put it up. And rebound yanked down by Lumpkin. Lumpkin puts it to the floor, a little coast to coast. Knocked loose temporarily by Castine. Lumpkin regains, now Castine will pick it up. It outlets it to Tardif, but Cablet's back there, has other ideas. Tardif gets it back out to Castine. In the corner, Paris. Tardif puts up the shot, off the rim. And the white ball, Steve Chris and Tim Leary are the officials tonight. First game of January 1999 for both clubs. Clubs met during the Orange Classic over the holiday weekend, over the holiday vacation, I should say. Off uh, cast iron. Tablet will inbound it. It's a two more taken away. Walter knocked to the floor after the pass up to up to Tardif. Nice follow there, Debbie Trombley. Said, uh, I know Nicole's going to make it, but I'll go down and congratulate her. Double dribble called. And as a result, Trombley was able to pick up that uh, rebound and basket. Castino inbound into Walter. 2-2 the score, 6-10 to go first period. 
Walter drives, dishes off to Trombley, and two buries it. 4-2 Northeastern. Northeastern full court pressure, ball into Dupre, Castellano gets a foul. Lumpkin will inbound it. Moore up for Cablet. Speedy Cablet being chased by the Speedy Walter. Phillips puts it to the floor. Perez guarding her tight. Rebounded Moore. And Plattsburgh the underneath game is a Gonna be a challenge for Northeastern. And the Cougars played the Hornets in the Cougar in the uh, Orange Classic. Miranda Perez went down early with an injury, but uh, Amanda Clark came off the bench and did an outstanding job. Stolen by Castine. She should have the layup. Traveling. Now she's gone in right-handed instead of trying to, she's all alone. Instead of going to her left hand, that's when she lost control of it. Lumpkin misses. Four, four the score, five, 10 to go in the first. Lumpkin to inbound it. Uh, to Cablet. Larry checks with Chris, and Steve Chris says off red, white ball. Lumpkin will inbound. Into Phillips. Phelps puts it to the floor, puts the shot up, draws a foul. Let's see what's on. The foul is on Miranda Perez. Laura Phillips at the line. Tardif, up to Castine and Trombley, back to Tardif. Perez misses the shot, rebounded by Moore. Now Dubray will bring it up. 4-4 four, four the score, four and a half to go. Ball comes to Phillips. We're in the first quarter here at Plattsburgh. <laughs> Looks like Lumpkin could have made an effort a little bit quicker than that, and then she decided to go for it. The ball was beyond her grasp. Walter bounce pass intended for Perez. Lumpkin takes it away. Perez gets it back. Now Tardiff in the paint to Trombley. And Debbie Trombley with the basket. Cougar is going heavily to Trombley here in the first quarter. Ball comes into Dubre. Up to Moore. Rebounded by Phillips. Long drop and Dubre gets the rebound. Foul on Tardiff. Moore can tie it. This is the first. Uh, defensive boards. Basket by Moore. It's six five. Cougars have had cast on the back most of the time as the defender. She's a tenacious rebounder on those foul shots. And uh, either Walter or Tardiff might be faster back there. So I think for two reasons that 
it should be handled otherwise, but it's, uh, as Johnny Mathis would say, it's not for me to say. Cougars turn it over. Tariff going for the steal. Dubray brings it up. Dishes off to Phillips. Phillips cross court to Cablet. Now Moore puts it up. Chastain gets the ball. Outlets to Tardiff. Uh, Tardiff was looking at Walter. Dubray stole the ball. Walter gets it back. Chastain. And we'll have a reach on Dubray. Three minutes to go in the first. Ball comes deep to Tardiff. Chastain out to Tardiff. Now Perez from 17 feet. Rebound goes to Moore. Now Cablet brings it down, gets it up to Lumpkin. And the basket's good by, I don't know, was it Moore probably? Eight on the shot clock. And DuBray is fouled by Ashley Walter. 7-6, Plattsburgh leads, 2 7 to go in the first. Tara Dragoon will come in and on. Plattsburgh side is Keeley Sullivan. That's our Northeastern timeout. Stephanie DuBray at the line. Jessica King will come in for Dubray when time allows, and time allows right now. Plattsburgh up by a deuce, 8-6, 207 to go. In the first, Dragoon brings it up for the Cougars. Walter pulls up for the short jumper. Walter takes it away. Brings it back out, sets up the offense. Harris. Rebound down Tardiff out to Dragoon. Harris puts it back up, it's good. We're tied, eight up. Dubray, uh, Sullivan. Dragoon shot missed. Walter puts it up, it's short. Now King gets it to Cablet. Cablet will bring it up. King sets the pick. Tardiff tips it to Walter. Walter with a layup. Up to Cablet. Cougars lead 11-8. Not sure where they got the extra point. 10-8, now they've corrected it. 44 seconds to go in the quarter. Moore sticks with it, puts it in. We're tied, 10-10. 33 seconds to go. Lisa Roberts have to come in for the Cougars. Chambly is blocked by Moore. And Tardiff will have the reach. Robert in for per Perez. 10-10 to the score. 12 seconds to go in the quarter. Phillips. Now Cablet. The end of one, it's a tie, 10-10, on it some Cougars. Hey, 
Time for a name that fan, one of our fine viewer patrons, or in this case, two of our viewer patrons, but actually one of our fine viewer patrons. It's Mr. Sean Eichler. As the ball is inbounded to start the whoop, travel. Second quarter. Dragoon into Walter. Ten ten the score. Robert puts it up. Rebounded by Sullivan up to Cablet. Gives it to Moore and Moore drops it in. Oh, excuse me, Phillips. Phillips drops it in. Perez and Clark coming in for the Cougars. They're going to Walter. <laughs> Must be ice the weak side. Yeah, cast iron. Because I finally get to touch it, I think I'll shoot it. So she does. Hits the 18 foot and a half shot. Cabinet comes down. And basket's good by Laura Phillips. 14 12 Plattsburgh. Now Dragoon brings it down. Robert to Castine. And the foul on Dubray. Cross court passes are always dangerous. Now Tardiff is in. She'll replace Dragoon. Clark and Perez also come in. Now Lumpkin in for the Hornets. Replacing Dubray. Was there for the rebound, hits the bottom of the backboard, gets it back, pushes it out for Tardiff. Perez, looks good. Miranda Perez. Cast irons, takes it away from Cablet. And she's fouled. Another left-handed shot, though. 14-14 the score. Cast on hits the first. And gets the second one to fall. Kicks by Perez. It bounces off Cablet and right back at Perez. 16-14, <clears throat> Northeastern up by a deuce. 5.45 to go in the half. Inbounded by Sullivan. Cablet for three, short. Jump ball. Cast on inbounds to Walter. Walter drives into the paint and surrounded by white shirts and it's an easy layup for the Hornets. Too strong. Clark. Now Walter to Paris and Paris bears it. Moore up to Lumpkin. 
jump ball. Also ties up Lumpkin. Cougars are up by two where Johnny Fountain calls a timeout for the Hornets. 4.46 on the clock. Tablet with the ball. Uh oh, uh oh. Tied up. They have twisted something. She's up. I'm going to try to walk it off. She says that she's fine. But I think they're wise to take her out. She's uh, in pain. So Haley Desero will come in for her. Eighteen sixteen Cougars. More to Cabot. More, uh, more may have traveled in that one. Oh, we <laughs> well, got the rebound. Then she just kind of disappeared. She stepped into a sinkhole. Perez off the rim, slapped out by Castine. Sullivan inbounds. Paris to Clark. Clark misses a shot. Now Sullivan misses the layup. Slapped by Perez. Oh, look clean. No shot. <laughs> Cougar fans not too happy with that call. Tablet gets a shot off. Off the rim, follows a shot. We're tied. Last time with the shot, off the rim. That's roll to Walter. Walter with a long shot. Rebound Clark. And Amanda Clark with the offensive basket. Offensive rebound, all the baskets, of course, of offensive. Castine knocks it loose, but Lumpkin gets it. Lumpkin gets the layup. Break there for the Hornets. 20 up, 3.06 to go. Perez not watching. Walter to Perez. In and out. Walter with the rebound. Outlets it to Castine. Desero tries to get to the park. It's kicked out by White. Tom Lee in. She'll replace. Ooh. Amanda Clark who did a nice job out there. And let's see, Beth O'Neill in for Plattsburgh. He's replacing Sullivan. Into Tom Lee. Too strong. Phillips with the rebound. 20-20 is the score. Goes up by Cablet. More rebounds. Puts it back up and good. Kristen Moore, 22 20. Glassburg leads. Death row to Walter. And Walter draws the foul. Actually, Walter can tie it with two. Two minutes and 11 seconds remaining in the first half. Missed. Rebounded by Phillips. Over to Lumpkin. Now O'Neill. Looks underneath for Phillips. And Laura Phillips gives the Hornets a four point lead 24 20.
Hornets have Phillips out on that point. She's a tall defender in that front line. Ten on the shot clock. Pass time back to Walter. Walter misses the shot. Desro puts it back in. Hillary Desro. Haley Desro. Make it Haley Desro with the basket. 24-22. Cablet. Goes to Phillips. Now Tardiff will come back in. And basket by Cablet. 26-22, one minute to go in the half. Pass picked off. Lumpkin. That's where it slows her down. Tardiff replaces Castan. 46 seconds. 26-22 the score. One and one, front end is missed. Walter rebounds. with the basket. 26-24. Uh, Tardiff knocks it loose. Walter gets it back to Tardiff. To Paris. Beautiful pass. We're tied. Beautiful pass from Tardiff to a driving Miranda Perez. Two seconds. Phillips at the horn. That'll do it. Well, the Plattsburgh High Hornets have to be very satisfied with their first half. They've held the unbeaten in CBAC action, Northeastern Clinton Central Cougars, to a scoreless situation at the half. This is our halftime show. Bob Daly looks like he should be directing traffic over there. I'm talking to Caleb and Car Carlton. Nicole Tardiff will inbound the ball and second half will get underway. A tie ball game. Plattsburgh defense is doing a good job of containing the Cougars. <laughs> well, is going to have to hit from the corners like that. That's Miranda Perez with the basket. Knocked loose by Tardiff, picked up by Paris. She gives it back to, to Walter. Up to Trombley. Jump ball. Now that Lumpkin, I think, got her hand on that. Nice defense. So the Plattsburgh's time on the turn on the jump ball. Lumpkin will inbound. Gets it to Dubray. Back to Lumpkin. And over to... Dubray, no foul. Walter stumbled and bounced into Dubray, but no foul called. Oh, take that defense like that. Jump in the middle of it. Sean Blade turns and drops it in. Debbie Sean Blade with a couple of quick baskets. Puts the Cougars up by four here to start the second half. There's Dubray. Little coast to coast, hits the backboard, slapped away from Tardiff. And Tardiff into Walter. 
Perez all alone. Trombley gets the rebound. Tardiff will take the shot. That's good. Nicole Tardiff gives the Cougars a six point lead. And uh, next time if the Hornets get the ball, they should call a timeout. Perez with a steal. Well, Tardiff gets it back. And have a reach, I believe, on Lumpkin. And with that, Johnny Fountain is not going to wait until the team gets the ball back. He calls a timeout. Northeastern, six unanswered points here in a minute, minute and 47 into the second half. Amy and her team, that fan individual this time is Mr. Stuart Boss. Whoops, sorry about that, girls. We're we thought we'd zoomed out, but we didn't. Castine into Tardiff. <clears throat> Perez recovers, gets the ball, gets it to Castine. Castine off the glass and good. That's an eight point lead for the Cougars. Lumpkin gets, regains control. Walter steals it to Tardiff. Tardiff to Castine. Castine from 16 feet. That's good. Ten unanswered points for the Cougars here to start the second half. <clears throat> Tablet. She'll try to set the offense. Slapped away by Miranda Paris. Keely Sullivan reports in. Comes to Moore. Now a long shot by Dubray. It's short. Harris gets it. Tardiff to Castine. To Trombley. Pretty, pretty play. Tardiff to Castine to Trombley. Nice play. That's six points this half here for Trombley already. 38-26 to score. Walter tips it to Trombley. Now Tardiff has it. She gets it to Castine. Castine cross court for Trombley. She can't get the fall. Castine will take it away. <coughs> now Trombley picks it up. Harris from 17 feet. Rebounded by Moore. Here comes Cablet. Cablet stops, finds a Phillips underneath. Phillips gets position and puts it in. First points of the second half for the Hornets. Walter will drive, throws it up and in. That's Clay Walter with a basket. 40 to 28, 4, 15 to go in the third. Dubray, uh, Sullivan that is, up to Cablet. Castine reaches. Picks up her second foul. Sullivan will inbound it. Tablet. And basket by Moore. Walter to Perez. Perez, nice job, but she misses the shot. Rebounded by Phillips. 3.46 to go, third quarter. Sullivan. Now Trombley pulls it down. Castine will take the long pass up to Tardiff. And another nice play for the Cougars. Castine looking up the court. Saw Tardiff. Phillips was alone here for a while for the Hornets, but they couldn't find her. Cablet penetrates and hits. Team's trading baskets now. Castine back to Walter. Walter to Castine. Now Tardiff to Trombley. Left-handed shot. That'll be Trombley. Very productive third period so far. Could the lead back to a dozen. 
Uh, Dubray stops. Castine ties her up. Jump ball. Northeastern turn on the jump ball. Plattsburg with the press. Tardif will put it to the floor. Brings it up. Over to Walter. The driving Paris. Trombley with the rebound. Puts it out for Castine for 17 feet. It's good. <laughs> Castine in double figures now. Tardif to Walter. Walter puts it up. Castine ties up. Dubray. And it's Plattsburgh's turn on the jump ball. Timeout, Johnny Fountain. 20, 20 second timeout, Northeastern leads by 14 points. They've outscored the Hornets by a 20 to six margin here at 2.26 to go in the third. Tara Dragoon in, she replaces uh, Walter here for the Cougars. 2.26 to go in the third. Five seconds to get it in. Ball comes into Moore up to Cablet. And off Trombley, I guess. Sullivan will inbound it. Moore out to Cablet for three. Rebounded by Castine. Castine gives it to Dragoon. Paris. Tarda for the rebound. dribble called by Steve Chris Northeastern sees it otherwise stolen from Blaze stole it but took a walk <laughs> good steal but couldn't quite get uh, her footing Cablet with the ball Phillips breaks loose Trombley with a block, Phillips again, puts it up, count it. Jump ball, no, no basket. No basket. Uh, break for the Cougars, I think, on that one. Castine into Tardif. Back to Castine. Tardif to Perez. Blocking the foul on Cablet. So what I do? I thought I had position. Tardif misses the first. Been about a minute since either team scored. A shot missed by Tardif. Uh, here comes Sullivan. <laughs> Foul called on Perez. With the body, says Steve Chris. He's closer than we are. We'll take his word for it. Now we have, let's see, Walter, Desero, and Clark set to come in for the Cougars. <laughs> Sullivan hit. Castine, Tardif, and Perez are set. 1.32 to go in the third. Sullivan with her second shot. Phillips rebounds, gets her footing, puts it back up, drops out, and Trombley's there for the rebound. Now Walter up to Clark, Amanda Clark. Uses that backboard as well as anybody. A great offensive rebounder. Rebounded by, by uh, Phillips. Now Phillips gets it again. For Red, that's Walter. 48-33 is the score. About a minute and a few seconds to go in the third. Moore puts it to the floor. Blocked by Trombley. 
This time Trombley gets the foul, but she's playing some good defense under there. Moore misses the first. Six foot one junior. Phillips, a sophomore, listed at 5'10, 5'11, I like that. So they give the Hornets a good twin tower effect underneath. Moore scores the second one. Death row to Walter. And Death row gets it to Trombley. Too strong. Clark with the offensive rebound puts it in. Amanda Clark. Cousin Amanda with the basket. She's just a, a great, great rebounder on the offensive boards, offensive and defensive, but offense is when you notice it because she'll put those back in. Walter now to Desero. Desero gets it out to Dragoon. Now Clark to Desero to Walter. Three-second call on, the, on Walter for the Cougars. 17 seconds to go in the third. Cougars leading by 16. Phillips is going to be an old, no. Good hustle there by Dubray. Kept it in the forecourt. Cougars pick it up now. Last second shot, travel. What a 24-point third quarter. A 24-8 margin. The Cougars outscore the Hornets, and they take a 16-point lead into the fourth period. Cougars unbeaten so far in 1998-99. Stuart Voss and a few other fans say this game isn't fun anymore, and they're heading for the exit. It's late here, though. It's uh, 9.16 on this Wednesday evening. Kind of a small crowd here. The usual faithful for the Cougars are here. An equal number of Hornet fans. Dubray to Cablet. Too strong. Rebounded Trombley. Now Walter brings it up. Gives it to Trombley. Does throw in the corner to Clark. Walter drives. Throws it up left-handed and in. 52-34. Dessero and Walter Cougars call a timeout. They keep the ball, but 18-point uh, lead. They didn't really need to force that timeout. Twenty-second timeout is over. Seven sixteen left in the game. Dragoon will inbound it. Desro stepped on the line. That's over and back. Now Sullivan into Dubray. Phillips to Sullivan. Tries to get it back to Phillips. Clark comes up with it. Now Walter. Up for Dragoon. Dragoon back to Trombley. Tries to go in the middle. Trombley gets it back to Clark. She's blocked. Good hustle there by Jaja Cablet. Perez in. She'll replace Dragoon. Walter shot missed. Oh, 
Tablet can't control it. Desro gives it to Walter. Back to Desro. Desro bringing out. And release for Trombley. Stepped on the line to be white ball. Sullivan will inbound to Cablet. Now Dubray. Sullivan quickly to, to Moore. Blocked by Trombley. Moore sticks with it. Puts it in. Kristen Moore with a good second effort. Nice block initially there by Trombley. Now Desro. Hornets want to travel. Trombley misses. Trombley again. Walter. Off Clark. Tardiff and Castine will come in. Place Desero and Clark. In the middle to Phillips. Castine with a rebound. Now Walter. Harris to Walter, and we have a foul on Sullivan. Castine to, to Paris. Hornets take it away. Dubray with a shot. Moore with a rebound. Now Walter clears it. <clears throat> Tardiff to Trombley. It's good. <laughs> Another nice fast break for the Cougars. 54 36. 5 14 left in the game. Slapped by Perez. Castine will bring it back. Pushes it up to Walter. Back to Perez. Perez will take it. Too strong. Off Phillips. Walter will inbound it. 18 on the shot clock. Gets it into Tardiff. Perez all alone. Good luck. Good luck there by uh, Nicole Tardiff. Walter knocks it loose. Aaron McDonald in for Debbie Trombley and Tara Dragoon comes back in replacing Walter. DeRay. Basket by Nadia Brzeznewski. You can see Brzeznewski come in. Up for McDonald. White ball. 56 38. 4.22 to go. Tablet gives it to Sullivan. Chased by Dragoon. Foul be on Dragoon. Now we have a sub. For the Hornets, we have uh, Nikki Hilchi, number 30, coming in. She's going to replace uh, Stephanie Dubray. Sullivan slapped away Tardiff. Nice try, but she was on the line. Sullivan will inbound again. The Cablet. Tardiff knocks it loose. That's O'Neill and McDonald fighting for it.
Lisa Robert in replacing Danielle Castine. 3.58 to go. Robert, Perez, uh, Dragoon, out to Tardif. Clark and Desro in for the Cougars. So the starters are all sitting at the moment. And we have Jessica King, number 23, in for the Hornets. And to Robert, she misses, and she's blocked by Brushnevsky. Tablet. Jump ball call. King will inbound it. It to Clark. Clark will put it up. Misses. Put back up in by Lisa Roberts. Northeastern lead at 20 points now. With three minutes to go. Tablet will bring it down. Tablet buries it. Three pointer. Now uh, McDonald will bring it up. And white ball. 58-31 to score. Tablet will bring it up for the Hornets. Fouls on Dragoon. Tablet at the line. <laughs> and that one's good. Let's throw in to Dragoon. Travel. 2.20 remaining. Tablet brings it up. Over to Hilchi, underneath. O'Neill is fouled. Death row. Oh, Beth O'Neill at the line. Two minutes and 13 seconds left in the game. Rebounded by Robert. Up for Clark. Fouls on O'Neill. Clark shooting. Rebounded by Brishnovsky. Throws the ball up here to King. King back to Cablet for, th nope, thought about the three. Hilchi will take the shot. Robert rebounds. Now Dragoon brings it up. Now Nikki Hilchi. Corner to Cablet. O'Neill rebounds, puts it back, fouled by Dragoon. O'Neill puts it up, drops it in. Minute 24 to go. 58 44 the score. 
58-45. Robert in the Dragoon. Stolen by Cablet. <laughs> Cablet will shoot. Uh, McDonald rebounds. This is Dragoon to McDonald. This is off to Robert. Nice pass. Stolen by Clark. Double dribble called. 54 seconds to go. King into Cablet. Cougars leading by 13 over the Hornets. O'Neill will take the shot. Block rejected by Clark. Now Dragoon will bring it up. Dragoon gets it back. O'Neill with a steal. Tablet gets it back. Over to King. Now Brzezinski. Tablet buries it. A long two-pointer. That'll probably do it. Six seconds. 58, 47. Robert at the horn. That's going to do it. 11-point win for the Cougars. They defeat the Plattsburgh High School Hornets. Northeastern remains unbeaten in the CBAC at this point, but they've got a couple of tough ones coming up immediately. Next game will be against El Sable, and that will be followed by Peru. So Northeastern will be tested in their next couple of games, and Plattsburgh gave them a nice tune-up for that tonight. So 58-47 is the final, and that's the way it was at Barker Memorial Gymnasium at Plattsburgh High School in beautiful downtown Plattsburgh. You're watching Hometown Cable. Were you 16 and 7 on the year? Other action tonight in the National Hockey League. Colorado is up on Florida. High hockey team hosting Lake Placid tonight. First period, Trevor Waite with the wrister. He scores 2 to nothing. Plattsburgh leads later in the first. Tom Bruno walking right in here, unassisted. 3 to 1. The Hornets led this hockey game. Still in the first period, Jason Perry sets up Bruno out front for this goal. Hornets go on to win with a score of 5 to 1. Also tonight, Burlington and South Burlington battling it out. Tied at 2 midway in the third period. Brian Mangi scores on his own rebound. It's 3 to 2. Seahorses, 4 minutes to go now. Cheney Noyes will tie this one up. Nice goal here for the Rebels. One and a half minutes later, Brian Letourneau to Lou DeMassey, son of Lou DeMassey from St. Mike's. 4 to 3. Seahorses win 5 to 3. And in that Plattsburgh win tonight, junior Mark Favreau is 100th career point. He's the fastest to ever do that at Plattsburgh. Well, the 191-day NBA lockout is nearing an official end. The players overwhelmingly ratified a collective bargaining agreement. That came after Commissioner David Stern and Union Chief Billy Hunter reached a deal. Owners will vote on the proposal tomorrow. The plan is that the NBA will play about 50 games beginning the first week of next month. The playoffs would start around May 1st. The news is not so good for the Vermont men's basketball team. The Cats are losing one of their top players. Forward Craig Peeper will miss the rest of the season because of a nagging knee injury. Peeper had surgery on his left knee but wanted to see if the knee would respond to therapy. But after missing the first 10 games of the season, he's decided not to play any games this year so he can gear up for next season. The first day of practice on, I've been sitting there watching, and uh, it gets, gets in, it's getting a lot harder as it goes on. It's never been easy, um, but it's something i got to deal with. Peeper's on pace, by the way, to finish among Vermont's all-time leading scorers in both points and rebounds. St. Michael's men's basketball team with a win tonight at Bryant College, 85-72. Mark Pater with 22 points. Fifth straight win for the Knights. And the women's team also with a win tonight, 101-78. Tara Clark with 22 points, 12 rebounds. Other action tonight, Middlebury a winner over Union. Chrissy Peterson had 22 points. Middlebury's now 6-2. Number one, Connecticut taking on Boston College in men's action tonight for Connecticut.
Connecticut, Richard Hamilton with the three-pointer. 18 first half.